So this vehicle set up for 30 plus years and on after adding new spark plug wires, new spark plugs, uh, the distributor cap was bad. So replaced that. The rotor was okay. And I was getting crazy spark and putting gas in the car. After all of that and it was trying to start, I knew the belt was bad. Okay guys, it's time for us to uh, change the timing belt in this thing so we can get it going. This is for the 2300cc engine section. So this covers pretty much everything, this 2.3 engine. Uh, but before the end, let's go back a couple pages. This is for the uh, 1600cc or 1.6 liter or 2.0 liter or 2000cc engine. Time and chain, here's the marks, is exactly what you do. Thank you guys. Just a rundown in case you guys have this engine. All right, let's go back to where we're at now. So, in our case, we're in a 2.3 liter. We go over, and this is where we're at. First thing we're going to do is number one is position the crank to have a top dead center so guys we're going to line it up with this pointer top dead center there should be some marks on this crank shaft pulley you gotta find them you are gonna rotate it okay guys it's seven eight so let me get all this cleaned up real quick be right back Okay guys, I want to discuss a few things before we jump into this video. The purpose of this video was to, just to add a how-to textbook install or replacement of the timing belt for this particular engine and the Mustang too. It covers the Pinto and the Bobcat. Uh, just to have a textbook install on the channel, I think that, those are cool. Uh, just to kind of go by the book. Although the book isn't, um, it doesn't show extreme details. It doesn't, it, it isn't very detailed. Um, it does show you the general steps to replace the timing belt in this motor, uh, the 1.6 and the 2.0. However, I do have multiple timing belt books to cover pretty much all the vehicles, uh, any vehicle. And I'll show you guys later a couple books that will cover this specific engine for the timing belt. It shows specifics like um, torque specs, uh, etc. But um, the crankshaft pulley right now, it asks you to put the, the first step asks you to put the engine in top dead center. And if you do it with the crankshaft pulley on, which is fine, but I, I don't recommend that. I recommend doing this when you want to check and to see if the timing is off. You can look through that window in the timing cover. I remove that rubber plug and look through that window when you put it in top dead center to see if your timing is off, if you need the belt replaced. And uh, right now, I'm just trying to get the pulley cleaned off to show you guys the marks on this. But you don't need to do this. You can just remove the crankshaft pulley like I'm going to do. And it's best to do that, and then you can put it in. Uh, you can put it in time perfectly. Here, I was having problems finding the marks, and I got it scraped down, and I was able to find them. And I'll show you guys exactly where top dead center is. Um, like I say, uh, a little later in the video, um, as far as on the crankshaft fully, a little later in the video. But I'm just gonna be very detailed with this, and towards the end, we'll go through, uh, go over those books, the detailed books, uh, just briefly to show you guys uh, the finer details to do this install. Uh, very. Very simple install. Uh, like I said, I can do this with my eyes closed. I don't need no book. Just trying to uh, have a textbook install uh, on the channel with this specific uh, particular vehicle. So uh, let's jump into the vehicle. I'm pointing to marks, trying to uh, uh, go through them. But yeah, that's not top dead center. I'll show you guys what top dead center is as I'm going over the marks. So uh, let's jump into the video. Okay, guys, if you look here, you'll see the different numbers on the crankshaft pulley. Let's figure D. Figure C, this is what we're looking at. Figure E on this vehicle. You guys can see the both of the 10s and the 20. And just like I was pointing at the top dead center, it's right in that center uh, between those two. Okay, step two. Remove the timing belt cover, loosen the tension, and remove the belt from sparking. Just straightforward, it's just gunning for us. So let's remove the timing belt cover first.
Those are some 10 millimeter bolts in that cover. Look at this, guys. Look at this belt. Although I have a crankshaft pulley remover, this is a trick I learned when I was about 15 or 16 years old for crankshaft pulleys similar to this one um, on how to remove it. Mind you, this crankshaft pulley probably has been on here since the motor was made in the 70s and I'll get it off easily without using a pulley remover just in case you don't have one or whoever doing this job doesn't have one with a crankshaft pulley like this. Uh, watch how um, easily I remove it. Um, and look at the hammer I'm doing. Look where I'm hitting it at, guys. Notice where I'm hitting it. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you guys can see. Watch exactly where I'm hitting it at to get it started. And you guys are going to see how easily it'll come off. But the key thing, the most important thing I did was spray WD-40 uh, where the bolt goes. Spray a lot of WD-40 there or some penetrant. Make sure you do that. That's the very first thing you have to do for this trick to work uh, perfectly. As you can see, you're gonna clean up in here really good. So let me get my blower and blow this stuff out real good. Get some brake clean guys out here clean all this up real good we're gonna also put some wd-40 on here to make sure uh, the spring stays somewhat lubricated because it'll rust out and lose tension Let that dry. So, as far as with the crankshaft, guys, you can just, it's, the, the, all it has to be is 90 degrees and it will pretty much be in timing. Although the triangle is there to mark that the slit. So, all we have to do is rotate this just a little bit to put it in time. Let's do that right now. That white dot on the camshaft pulley is not the timing mark, guys. I'll explain later. If you look to the right a little bit up, you'll see the dimple. So, the next thing, let's loosen this 13 millimeter bolt up. I should remove this bolt. Eleven sixteen. Eleven sixteen, guys.
So now we gotta move this over a little. Guys, as you see, I'm rotating the camshaft pulley towards that white dot. I don't know why that white dot is there or if it came from the factory like that, but it threw me off. And I'll correct it in a few, but um, that's not the correct time. And then, uh, like I said, that's not it. That white dot is it. If you look up a little farther, you'll see it, and we'll we'll correct that in a few. I'll do it there. Let's remove this tensioner, guys. Here's the new kit, part number, timing belt, So we can go screw this back on. So let's put the belt on now. Let's start from the bottom. You're gonna come up. It is. You hurt yourself? Huh? Okay guys, let's tighten uh, the tensioner bolt. Alright guys, we got a problem. Look at this. So somebody marked it right there, but that's not our mark. I don't know why, but 
that, be like that. This is our mark. That's our mark. All right, belt gotta come off. So the good thing is we only taking it from the top. Okay guys, let's rotate it twice. I'll leave this on and just in case we have to adjust it again. Okay, we're on, we're dead on. We're dead on. If you look carefully, you see the belt pull forward some, and that's because the guide is not on there, and the crank, of course, the crankshaft pulley holds the guide in place. But all you have to do is uh, loosen the tensioner just a tiny bit, just pull it back a little bit, whether you're using a crowbar or the tensioner tool, the special tool, just a little bit and push the belt back uh, on the sprockets. Don't forget to tighten. It's 13 millimeters down. Put this rubber piece back on here. Push the belt good. Okay, guys, I should have probably done this first. Just kept, the, just took the cap off, um, and just see uh, which rotation or orientation uh, the rotor is pointing. Uh, um, if I'd have the cap off and then I removed the belt, I, I could have turned the auxiliary pulley uh, to rotate the rotor uh, facing the number one, which is. Here you can see the number one. So we're gonna see orientation right now. Okay guys, as expected, I kind of figured we'll be here. We're right there. We're right at the number one. Right there, guys. Look at that. And right right on the money. I'm gonna buckle this down. So I'm gonna put one screw in the cover, and then we're gonna start this thing. Okay, let's try to start this thing.
We got action, guys. Start it right up. Right up. Let's run it around for a little longer. Okay guys, before we close this out, I do want to show you a little bit more detail with the timing belt. This is a timing belt specific book, 97 edition. It doesn't, it introduces 1995, 96 applications, but it goes back as far as, I believe, 1985 with this book. And uh, it does give the specific for uh, the 2.3 liter uh, belt, torque specs, uh, diagrams, timing mark, etc. This is another timing book. I got quite a few of them. This is a more detailed timing book, and it starts back at 1974 to 96. And uh, this is what a 2.3 is at. And uh, it gives specifics as well. It shows the timing marks, just like uh, on uh, the vehicle. I'm working on right now, just like the Mustang. That's the exact timing marks on where it should be at. Top dead center is here. You guys can see the first team. I'm gonna clean this off a little bit better. So it's like when they first start. It goes all the way around. Now I got two. Shows the torque specs. That's the tensioner bolt to tighten it up. Um, the bolt for the spring. The exact time mark for the camshaft sprocket. And uh, the crankshaft sprocket. It also shows how the keyway is pointed upward and how uh, that's the indent or the, sp the slit uh, in the cover itself, in the back side of the cover, and that's the the mark on the uh, crankshaft sprocket. It pointed that way, and you can see the keyway is pointed 90 degrees. So, a little bit more detailed book here. It shows uh, a little bit more uh, details in uh, doing the timing uh, belts. Pretty much like the other books, but this just shows just a little bit more details. Like I said, it shows torque specs, whereas the other one doesn't show torque specs at all. And a little bit more detailed torque specs on here. A little bit more detailed diagram. Show the same. Thing in there, so the notch in the front cover casing. So, guys, let's go over right here, right here. Just wanted to kind of show a little bit more uh, in depth uh, details with this uh, timing belt um, for replacing it and changing it. So, hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Terrence, and I'm out.